Hey guys, how you doing? This is Lynn coming to you from the beautiful sunny beaches of Negril, Jamaica. I am out here enjoying my last beach day and I am, I decided to go ahead and record a little quick video because I have nothing prepared for this week. Extra raggedy on my part, I know. So what's been going on with me? Well, um, I went on a vacation and I'm actually still here. Uh, I really, 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 really have enjoyed myself. I spent these wonderful four days and five nights out here on the beach in the grill. It's one of my favorite spots to visit, and I hope to be back very, very soon. Uh, my children are enjoying their summer vacation, and so am I. I'll be doing some traveling in the next few weeks, and I'll share all of that with you guys uh, as I uh, continue to do me here, you know, on Journey to Be Me. As you can see, I don't have a wig on this Wiggless Wednesday, but we're still going to say it's Wiggless Wednesday. So, I want to talk to you guys this week about falling in love with the real and not with potential. I'm so sweaty, sorry. So, a lot of you guys know that about a year ago, actually to the day, almost almost to the day, a year ago I met someone and um, I kind of fell for him, for him um, really hard and fast and I did not pay attention to some of the signs. I, I ignored some things and I, and I fell for potential. I fell for what I thought and hoped that it was gonna be, right? And guess what? <laughs> I got my heart broken and it turns out that he was just another somebody that I should have let you know let go on because it, he was not the right person for me and as a result it's changed the way that I interact with other people I haven't dated anybody in so long and it's because I kind of I kind of am gun shy I think I have PTSD or something like that like I'm just kind of like eh. everybody that I run into I just don't have the capacity for it anymore and that's really kind of sad so, um, if you fall for someone's true self, you'll find out that maybe you, you won't like them as much to fall so hard and maybe you'll be more cautious. I think that's what I would have done because looking back on it, I really, really, really should have slowed down. I should have looked at some things. I should have paid attention to some signs that were there. But I held on. I've been known to hold on long, hard, and fast, and at the end of the day, end up getting my heart broken. So, yeah. Um, and it's been a year since I met this person, and I can say, you know, overall, I'm grateful for the experience. I'm grateful for having learned some things. Because if you guys have watched me, have been watching me for a while, you know that I'm big on learning. I'm big on taking from the experience something positive, right? So if I can take something from this experience, I would say it made me know to look for the right signs from people and to not um, just look at what I think I want to see. And so what I want to encourage you guys to do um, from this point forward is look at the real. Don't look at the potential. Now everyone has potential to change, but people only change if they want to change, not if we want them to, right? Okay, so I'm going to stop talking because I am still on my vacation. I've been meaning to sit down and record this video the whole time I've been in Jamaica, but guess what? <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't wanted to. Anyway, I'm going to share a couple of photos uh, from my trip. And I uh, just want to say, guys, I will see you next Wednesday. I may have on a wig. I may not because it's summertime and wigs are kind of hot, if you know what I mean. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a minute to click subscribe and leave a like. I'd appreciate that so, so much. Thank you again for joining me as I am on my journey and I hope it helps one of you on your journey. I'd like to say be better today than you were yesterday. Be better tomorrow than you were today. I will talk to you and see you very, very soon on Wednesday for Wiggles Wednesdays. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.